Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. What is with all these developers keeping me on my toes? First, a ginormous update for Streamerbot, then now Sammy throws a dirty old right hook with an out of this world update. Let's just get down to the nitty gritty because my lord, there is a lot to talk about. Obviously, if you enjoy this video and want more, then crack that old like button and subscribe if you're new around here. It really does help me keep making this content for you guys. Right, put your rock over the stone. First things first, we gotta get updated. I always like to do a safety backup, you know, just in case something happens. Grab your entire Sammy folder, then copy and paste it somewhere safe on your computer. Man, I love these standalone apps. There's just no messing around. Jump into Sammy, go to settings, then check for updates. It will say there is a new update available. Press OK, then update on the top selection. You will need to authorize it, then Sammy will reset star and show you the current version patch notes. Whilst we have a little read of it, let me tell you how you can upgrade your entire stream with today's video sponsor, Owned Pro. Owned Pro is a streamer's ultimate all-in-one tool. Do you need new overlays and alerts? They will give you unlimited access to over 600 overlay and alert packages. Do you need copyright-free music for your stream? They have also got you covered since they partnered with the one and only Epidemic Sound. They have so much more to offer too. Just go check them out in the link below to see for yourself. They also have a free membership option to dip your toe into as well. Then when you want to upgrade, tell them I sent you a new offer code code Andy50Pro at checkout for 50% off. Thanks Owned Pro for sponsoring this portion of the video. We can now close these patch notes. It is crazy how much they have added and fixed. Jump back into settings. You'll see it looks a little different now too. Check for updates again and download any other updates for the Sammy Deck and Sammy Bridge. You can do this by pressing verify. There we go. Updated. Easy. If for any reason you want to revert back to a previous build, that you can just tick the box that says previous versions at the bottom of the update menu, then press in revert on whichever product you wish to downgrade. The first part of the update you'll see is the UI changes. Silverlink smashing it all up in there. This has been the first major UI changes in Sammy. The pages that have been updated are the settings menu and all your connections menus. So OBS, Twitch, and YouTube. It looks super clean. It would be amazing to see the this carried on through the application. The Twitch connection menu also now has easy buttons to get relevant Twitch scopes for either yourself or your bot. This makes it so much easier to set up both accounts properly. They have also changed the names of some of the commands to bring them more in line with some new features. I will get into this just a little bit later on. Speaking of UI changes, this is Adorable. Every time you press the about menu, Sammy's little face changes. So cute. Sammy, don't cry. Come on, guys. Make Sammy happy and give a few of these incredible people a follow. There have been tons of new commands added. I can't go into all of them, though. I mean, look at this list. Some important ones to know is the deck commands. You can now enable and disable a full deck in Sammy. You can also get the status of whether or not a deck is enabled. This is great if you want to easily toggle on and off a bunch of buttons you have created. You no longer need to do them individually. Just slap them all in a deck and create a toggle switch. Rather than just reading any files, Sammy can now read any file now. This is why some of the file commands changed names. With this change, new commands were added for reading files. You can now read all the lines in a file and store them in a string or an array. I used a normal text file for this example. Read the message, guys, come on. In Sammy, add the file path and file name, include an extension in the file name box, choose string or array, and give it a variable name. Run the button and bam, easy. Similarly, sim, similar, Similarly to... <laughs> Similarly to the trigger pull command to get all the relevant information you need for your commands, you can now do the same with OBS events, which means you can get really technical on what happens if something specific happens in OBS by using all the relevant variables. 
There have been a lot of Twitch commands and triggers added due to the changes Twitch keep implementing. You can now trigger buttons when the new Twitch shout out happens. You can delete chat messages, pull all the current viewers, edit all your channel points in one go. Are you watching a cutscene or something that needs quiet time? Just disable all your channel points. Simple. Are you Italian? Yes? Well, the Italian language is now native to Sammy. Just go to settings, then download languages. Sammy will restart, go back to settings, language, then check under the drop down menu. I love how the devs and supporters are really caring to make Sammy as accessible as possible to everyone. Keep it up, guys. Sammy has its own local API and webhooks. This means you can control Sammy from other software and equipment you have. To enable this, go to settings, then check the open local API server, and you can even give it a password too. When you go to a button, there is also a new trigger for webhook. This is all pretty technical to go fully into detail in this video, but if this is something you would like me to do on the channel, then let me know in the comments below. You can also get a huge amount of support on this feature on the Sami website since their documentation is absolutely on point. Along with all of the incredible features I have highlighted in this video, the Sami team have fixed an absolute truck ton of bugs that were in previous version of Sammy. They have also added a load of improvements that will help you out no end, including a few new shortcuts like Control plus N uh, to create a new line of code. Uh, I love this one. I hated having to wait for, for the command to open up and then press the plus sign. But you can check the whole patch notes over on the Sammy website. I will leave all the links down below. Again, this software is free, so if you can help the devs financially, then please do. Their information is in the about section in Sammy, and also their Patreon link is in the bottom left. I would like to say thank you to everyone that helps support me too. Thanks to all these people that are coffee, patron, and channel members. Yeah, I have channel memberships. Consider pressing the join button below from like one pound a month. It goes a long way to keeping the channel alive. A big shout out to Armed Gamer, Auditive Modality, Bongo, Fever Team, Marcus Vasquez, and Romulo Souza for being my top supporters. You are all legends. If you want to see the video I did, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I actually barely have anything Sammy related. I better fix that for you guys. And fast. <laughs> Click here for some random video you'll like. And if you want to see my playlist on everything Sammy, <clears throat> not that there's a lot. Click here. See you over there. Put your rock over the stone.